And for this project, we need a 10 millimeter socket and then a power tool or a ratchet, whatever works for you, so that we can remove the nut from the vehicle in order to get the, that grill off the um, town car. The first step obviously is to open the hood. Second step is to locate where the um, nuts and um, are that we have to loosen so that the grill comes off. And they go all around and there are I believe nine or ten of these um, nuts that we have to re remove with a uh, ratchet or power tool with a 10 millimeter socket. Um, I will do that now but before I do that I'll let you know I want to, I want to tell you that um, when you put them back on I would recommend to use a hand tool so you don't over tighten them because that wouldn't be good to over tighten them it's plastic on one side and then this is not super sturdy I don't think so you don't want anything bent all right I got my tool ready here and I'm gonna take them off Okay, as you can see, I got them all off, and there are there are nine of those nuts on there, not ten. Um, another thing is, I said bolts. I didn't mean bolts. I meant there's only nuts to remove. As you can see, this here, it's kind of wobbly, and that stays in. That one's not. That one's not. The bottom one seems to be more wobbly. So they stay in. You take the um, nuts off, and uh, then you um, lower the hood this careful with it I have a light underneath and I will let the camera go so I have two hands and uh, I'll pull the grill off and this is a low budget show here so I made a mistake I told you there are nine nuts of course there are ten so I found the other one too I thought why is the why the heck is that grill not coming off and I found another one so sorry about that but it's always good to admit that you made a mistake so here we go and here's the grill and that was my hood just shutting behind me <laughs> this is the day of the mistakes and accidents here I think but it's all good nothing broke so here's the grill and um, as you can tell this is I'll be careful with it because it's it's not complete trash it's still a nice grill um, there's nothing else that holds it see even this little tap here it doesn't really it snaps in a little bit but Honestly, I didn't really feel, I didn't really feel like it snapped in much. So I just pulled it out straight and it came right out. And yeah, well, all good, all good. Everything is good. Here's the grill from the front. The reason I changed it, I will put a new one in. It's because it has a bubble here and a couple other little blemishes. And I just wanted a new one because I care much about this car and I want to keep it. So I put a new one in. I'm not sure what I will do with the old one. Maybe I'll just hang it on the wall or maybe I'll sell it to someone uh, that wants one for cheap money. Uh, this is what the town car looks like without a grill. See that? Of course it's pretty dirty. So next I will take my rags and my car cleaning uh, material and I will clean that grill off. So it's nice and shiny. I mean, not that grill, our grill. Clean the hood off, <laughs> so it's nice and shiny. And then we will unpack the new grill, put the badge on, and put it on the town car. So it's just that easy. There we go, I got it all cleaned up. And today I'm gonna spray some of this ceramic detail on it. I got that from someone and I never tried it, so I'll try the product and see how I like it. Last time I needed, I used um, Adam's polishes. I have a lot of their products and I really like them. And um, we'll see how this one does. All right, another step done, nice and shiny. Next step is this plastic here. It looks a little bit gray, so I'm gonna take some plastic treatment so it will be nice and black again. I have another question. You see this part here? See how it's cracked? Someone must have driven against the car one time. I don't know what happened. I didn't see anything else damage. I think it was slightly cracked when I got it. Um, does anyone know how to remove this and what part I need to order to get a new one? 
because eventually I want a new one since I don't want to have some holes in the bumper or are there any other options let me know all right guys what do you think looks good doesn't it so now we're ready to put the new grill on I'll get the box we'll unbox it to put the badge on and we'll put it on and if you hear some sound behind me I apologize it's the air conditioner right there because it's a uh, warm day outside so I have the uh, garage a little bit cooled down all right let me get the other parts okay I turned the AC off so it's a little more quiet in here we don't have as much noise here's the original box the new grill comes in here is the batch there we'll unpack that too and this is not an unboxing channel but still we will unbox this grill now one-handed low-budget show here one-man show so make sure it doesn't fall down all right here it is here is the uh, new grill and what do I see it looks like it comes with a Lincoln star on it isn't it they told me it would not come with one I said I have to buy that separate also it looks a little funny there I'll pull it out of the plastic and I'll be right back okay so here it is and I'm not sure what to think I mean the grill is beautiful nice and shiny uh, it has the Lincoln star in and on it which is great I guess but look how dirty that is does the camera capture that? You see that? It's like there's some glue or something smeared all around it. Look how weird that is. Yeah, that, that is odd. And I can't blame the guys from the dealership because the box was taped. Uh, the way they got it, the original seal on there. It had uh, it's an original box. It has the, the numbers and everything on it. See, there it is from Ford. And he told me when he looked in the computer that it does not come with the Lincoln Star. So that's why he sold me a Lincoln Star separate. And here it is again. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Now I may have to return this one. Since I have another one, I don't need two. I hope this one, I don't know, someone in the factory must have put that on with glue and didn't really do a good job. It was kind of dirty. I may have to go in and ask him, but I may also just clean it off and keep it the way it is. Um, the grill does look exactly like the old one, which I have here behind me, you can't see it right now. So I think I'll just go ahead and, and install it on the car. Um, okay, at this point I can tell you what I wanted to do originally, since I have a lot of gold, gold emblems on my car, I planned on maybe having the inside part gold or one over the other uh, gold but when I heard what it would cost to wrap that in gold I thought it's just not um, I can't justify the price for what it may look like maybe I don't like it it would, would have been too expensive so I decided against it and uh, to keep this grill original since it's brand new let's turn it around so you can see what a new grill looks from looks like from the other side oh, looks like we have the uh, yeah, see those pins for that where we put those um, those nuts on to tighten it. So it looks good. I mean, I mean, good. It's just a Lincoln Town Car grill. It's plastic, but it um, shows off well. And uh, pretty excited to have it. I'm gonna clean that off, and if it comes nice and clean, I will um, report and let you guys know. Well, I thought about putting some alcohol on it, but I couldn't find my alcohol, so I put some of this Adams uh, Polishes CS3 on it because it cleans, shines, and protects, and um, it didn't come all the way off, so I sprayed it again, and uh, we're gonna try that again and see see what it does this time. I hope that glue comes off. If that glue does not come off, I will return the grill and uh, show them that there wasn't Lincoln Star on it already and I did take pictures of course detailed pictures so I can prove it and I guess I have the other one so I can prove it that I didn't mess it up and it came off mostly so I'm just gonna keep it it's not a big deal it might be a little bit I'm gonna inspect it again but it might be a little bit of residue 
I can't really tell. I can't really feel. I may have to try it with some alcohol. Um, you can't really tell if you don't know about it. You can see the this angle though. I'm not sure. I'll find out. This is the old grill. You can see all those little little pits in it. So although the car has not many miles and looks good, it had a lot of highway miles and a lot of little rocks and crap flew on the on the grill so you can tell that i'm not sure what to do with it i think i'll just hang it on the wall as decoration or if someone needs it i would even sell it for someone for cheap money but then i would have to ship it and uh you know the postal service they always want a fair share of money to ship a, a grill that size in any case i'll keep the package just in case i decide to uh ship the uh that's a snowblower there Maybe I'll do a review on that too. Okay, back to the grill. Um, yeah, we're ready to put it on. Unless I decide that I'll bring it back. I'll sleep a night over it, I'll decide. And um, next video, well, not next video, next segment in this video, you'll probably see me putting it on, on this town car right there. So I decided to bring that um, Lincoln Star back. Do you know how much that thing costs? Look at the number there. See the number? It's 3W1Z8213AA. And I will look here. Um, and it says the same number, $70.38. So that's a lot. The grill itself was $159, which is, I guess, okay. But the um, this little Lincoln Star there, 70 bucks. That's too much. I mean, especially if it already comes with one. So tomorrow I'll go back. I'll tell him about the grill and about the um, about the glue that was on it, and I'll give this one back to him. And I'll tell him uh, that's too much money. I'm not gonna buy one just to have an extra one at home. All right, and we are a couple days later. I decided to keep the grill, and here it is. It just uh, slowly put it on here. I have to make sure we line it up just right. Let's see? Slowly push. And there's a little cap there that comes in here. I don't think it really locks in though. Might be wrong, but I don't think it does. So I slowly push it in. Let's see something. There we go. Yeah, I think it got it lined up just right now. Uh, it comes out on the other side. Okay, got to play a little bit with this to uh, get this in, but it should fit um, like the way it's supposed to be. This is hard to do with uh, one hand, of course. So I'm gonna lower this down. I will put the camera away. I will tighten those nuts up, and it should fit nice and snug. And I'll show you the result in just a second. What I did now, I hand tightened the uh, nuts on around the grill all the way around. It already looks like this is uh, supposed to be. A little gap here, but I will tighten them with some tools and uh, then it should be nice. And I do recommend not using power tools for this so you don't over tighten those bolts and uh, the plastic bracket behind from the grill or the thin metal it goes into. I'm not gonna tighten it now, and I'll be back. All right, and we are all done. I am happy with the result. It looks great. Let's have a look at it together. If the, there's no gap anywhere. Let's see. I think it looks the same on both sides. What do you think? Looks good at the bottom. The grill is nice and nice and shiny. I have to clean it off a little bit. It got some fingerprints on it. So I'm happy with the result. I think I did good with that. And uh, coming up next is changing the bulbs on the town car. I was talking about that. Changing the bulbs here at the front. And uh, the corner lights on the side here as well. I'm going to show you what bulbs I got. Here we go, it's just a little preview of what I uh, will be putting in uh, the town car. More about that next time when it's time to change the bulbs. Thanks for watching the video and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. 
won't cost much effort and it helps my channel and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and um, come back for more fun content about my cars have a great day